myself Mitali Jain and in today's session we will learn about power quality analyzer. Order code is 2021-4185.4.65. This power quality analyzer is basically used to analyze the power, basically the flow of power in different electrical circuits. So this is digital power analyzer. Its input voltage is 3 to 500 volt VAC and input current is 10 milliampere to 2 ampere AC. So as you can see on its front panel, it's, it is an indicator, basically this is a digital display for indication of voltage, this is the digital display for indication of current and this is the digital uh, display for the indication of power in watt. Then after that, this is a digital display from here, this is the page menu and this is the hold menu. From this we can hold the value and through this page we can select the different modes such as P is for power and uh, power factor if C is for capacitive, L is for inductive, volt ampere is will be denoted as H and frequency will be denoted as F. So when we will press a button, this button, so the value of that component will be indicated on this digital display. So, and after that this is the power push on off button. So when we will push uh, the button, so power will be on. And these are the probe which are provided with the uh, digital power supply and at the rear end of the panel you can see that this is the terminal connection. So here we will connect the source and here we will connect the load. They all are interlinked and this is for auxiliary supply and here you can see that this is for commutation communication. So here is serial port relay and it's for buzzer and here we will there is a fuse of 1 ampere AC and here we will connect the power cord and at the top of the panel you can all the specifications are mentioned such as V is for voltage, A is for ampere, P is for power, H is for apparent power, F is for frequency, C is for power factor capacitive, L is for power factor inductive and these are for load connections and these are basically source connections. So this is the basic layout which is given on the top of our system. So its accuracy is class 0 0.2 and its auxiliary supply which uh, supply we will provide it is of 230 volt VAC plus minus 20 percent. So to analyze this device, this power analyzer, we will use some of the apparatus such as we will use the source and the load. So we are using variac and we are using a motor and a switch to con which will be connected to our uh, rear panel. So now we will make the terminal connection. So terminal connection will be made according to such as first of all we will connect the load. So we have to connect the positive test lead and then we have to connect the negative test lead. Then after that we will connect this plug to the switch. So you can see that this is the all connection for uh, load and now we have to make the connection to source. So this is a variac and I have already connected the positive and te negative test lead with the variac. So now I will connect this uh, negative and positive test lead with the terminal connection of power analyzer. So positive with the positive lead and negative with the negative lead. So you can see that the terminal connection have been made. This is for source and this is for load. So now this is our whole setup. So we have done the whole setup like we have connected the load and we have connected the source. Now we will start the device. So I will switch on the device. So as you can see that now I am not providing any source like I am not increasing the value of variac. So initially it is showing 0 volt, 0 ampere, 0 watt means 0 power and it is for load. So it is basically power for factor for load is 0. So this device basically shows the power factor of load, basically the power factor of inductor. So here we have used the inductive load. Then after that slowly we will rotate this knob. So when I am rotating the knob, so you can see that there are variations in the value. So you can note the voltage, ampere, current, power and this is the power factor for in, uh, inductor. 
So, now I will increase the voltage slowly. So, we have to take the readings at different points and you can also measure the different parameter by selecting this page. So, now I have selected it on power factor. So, its power factor is 0 0.57 and then so its apparent power is uh, nearly about 1, 1.67 and uh, you can see that it is for inductor and its frequency is 49.98. So, we will check when the motor will start rotating. So, let me just increase it. So, you can see that motor has been started rotating. Closely you can see that as I am rotating the knob, so this motor is rotating. So, you can see that this is motor is rotating continuously. This motor is basically of 220 volt and uh, it is basically of AC DC type and its RPM is 6500. So, you can see that this motor is rotating. So, as I will increase the rotate the gnome, so you can see that the speed of motor is increasing. And well, when I will uh, take the rotate the gnome to 0, like when I will when I want to stop this motor, so I will take this knob to 0, like basically I will rotate this knob to anti clockwise. So, you can see that this point the motor has been stopped. So, at this point the reading, so you can note when the motor is started. So, the reading is for reading follows as is uh, voltage is 33 volt, current is 0 0.262, wattage is 55. Uh, it is approximately equals to 5 to 4 watt, 4 to 5 watt it is switch. The frequency is uh, nearly about 50 hertz. And if you want to select the apparent power, it is nearly about 7.6 to 7.5. And power factor for load, like inductive load, so it is 0 0.596. So, in this way, at different parameters, you can note down the reading for different system. Hence, this is the whole setup and this in this way we can perform the different experiment and at different point we can test the note the readings like when I set it to 20 degree like when I move uh, set the voltage to 20 on variax. So, you can note the reading at that point when I set the voltage to 30. So, you can note the reading of power analyzer on that point. You can note the reading at when the motor started and when the motor started speed incre increasing gradually. So, you can note the different point, point on that basis and you have to make the table on that basis in which first table you will note the voltage, then you will note the current, then you will note the wattage and after that you can note the different parameters such as its apparent power, frequency, its power factor for inductive load if you have connected the inductive load and power factor for capacitive load for capacitive load if you have connected. So, this is the whole setup and in this way we can analyze the power of different apparatus. Hence, this is all about today's session. I hope that we have learned a lot about power quality analyzer, its working and its different parameters we have checked. Like we have seen through this power quality analyzer, we can measure the voltage we can measure the volt, we can measure the current, we can measure the apparent power and we can me also measure the power factor for inductive and capacitive load. So, through this we in this experiment basic requirement is our load and source. So, for that I have used the variac and the I have, I have also used the motor for that. So, through this uh, setup we have run the motor and for that we have also checked its different parameters such as current voltage, its active power like this the motor which we have used or the setup which we have set it is for inductive load. So, we have also checked the power factor for inductive load. So, this is all about today's session for further query you can contact to Tesco Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to our user manual. Thank you for watching the video.